to me, it's uh, the most rest. It's like the most power nap you could ever get. Yeah. My life is so crazy. It really is. It's extreme. You know, I'm zigzagging all over the world. I'm on a plane more than I am on ground. And this tool helps me find moments of peace because I don't have a whole lot of time that extend my day so I can live like full, my fullest capacity. Like it gives me two days in one day. It just gives me this power, you know? And I do it before I um, write a song sometimes, definitely before I get on stage. And it's just such an incredible, useful, simple tool that has made such an impact on me. Do you know how three days a year you get a good night's sleep? <laughs> and you wake up and feel like, oh, this is how I should feel all the time. TM, you can, you can have that every day. That every day you're just the, the bar on the cell phone is all the way up. TM is like you have a cell phone and someone gives you the charger. And you go, oh, this is, now I can keep using this thing. When you're sleeping, look at your bed when you get out of it. What does it look like? It looks like a war went on in there. And that's not restful. All you did was stop. And you took the fight from your day into the bed. But you're fighting all day, you're fighting all night. You need a break, folks. You need a break. That's what TM is. It was like a week's worth of sleep. From that moment forward, it was like a new day in a way. Um, I felt like my, my whole sort of nervous system reacted differently. I felt much less panicked and anxious and um, calm about things, but I also felt sort of deeply centered and, and rested. And From that moment on, I never, I've never been that frazzled ever again, or that tired ever again. It was like it sort of restored my body um, on such a deep level. So everyone in my life meditates. I am a big proponent of meditation, and for radio, I feel it added tremendous creativity and having that morning and afternoon, in fact, to this day, after I do the radio show, my head is pounding so bad from yeah. the headphones and, and the loud noise and five hours of headphones and talking. I mean, it's exhausting. Right. I go and I meditate and I walk out and I have the whole rest of my day. And it's, I'm a new person. I know. I don't, I don't think I could really live without it. I'll tell you my greatest regret. I didn't know the importance of that morning TM in those days. Wow. If I had two TMs, I'd still be doing the show now. Right. I did not have the energy. I was exhausted. Sometimes you Painfully think... exhausted all the time. Yeah. Remember, I would rehearse all day with the actors and then sit down with Larry and start writing the script. I'd been hearing about TM for years, so this summer I decided to learn it, along with my staff in Chicago, L.A., and New York. I talked about it when I was on Dr. Oz's show. You can't imagine what's happened in the company. People who used to have migraines don't. People are sleep sleeping better. People have better relationships. People interact with other people better. It's been fantastic. It's the equivalent of a couple hours more sleep each day. Part of the reason it's easier for me to get up at 2.30 every day is that I'm actually getting up to, to rest and, and meditate to start the You're day. Dead. And then it provides the same kind of boost uh, in the middle of the day, though, so that's a very practical thing it provides. Uh, I haven't missed a day since the day I started, and <coughs> it has, you know, made a tremendous difference in my life. I mean, I was um, always overtired, always rushed, uh, feeling that kind of the constant low-level impatience that's always ready to kind of burst out, and I didn't like it. I think what you said about technology, though, mm. is, is so key, how we've all become better at taking care of our smartphones than taking care of ourselves. You know, I bet practically everybody here knows approximately how much battery remains on your smartphone. <laughs> and if it gets below 13%, you get anxious, and you, know, you look around for a recharging shrine. <laughs> Well, in a way, I see meditation as my way to recharge that battery and, and to become better and better at, at seeing the warning signs 
when that battery is not recharged. Because, of course, I wasn't always good at that. In fact, I was terrible at that. Eight years ago, I collapsed from sleep deprivation and burnout. And yet, if you had asked me that morning, how are you, I would have said fine. Because being exhausted and being burnt out has become the new normal.